Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sora Darcheld, and welcome back to Let's Replay Pokemon Y. Last time, we made it to the town of Emberet Town after taking on a sleeping Snorlax and also dealing with a, with our uh, rivals. But upon coming here, her Team Flare seemed to be taking a bit of a problem for the archaeologists taking over the mines that are not far from this town. So, being the good person that we are, we're heading over there now to take them on. However, the roads are pretty rocky. How do we get across? Right on the back of this Rhyhorn, of course. No, 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 don't get on the Rhyhorn again. Get off of it. And in we go. Boobly and Onyx. The place is like a maze. I think I just found where I was supposed to go. What's this? Well, well, what do we have here? A nosy little trainer has come poking around. Listen up. We're the fashionable team whose the very name makes people tremble in fear. Team Flair. Nah. Te team Rocket did it better. Team Flair's goal is to make it so we're the only ones who are happy. We don't care one bit about what happens hence to the other trainers or Pokemon. Get out of here, kid. Kid, don't you know not to play with fire? So don't. It doesn't really matter, though. Someday, everyone's not hot in Team Flare is going to be burned anyway. I feel like a broken record. You're in the way. Don't you know or not to pick fights? Yes, but I'm gonna say no for this. Getting my fancy suit dirty isn't the stylish way to do things, but if you insist, I'll obliterate you. Get her, Hound Tower!
That was nothing. You may have beaten me, but when I lose, I go out in style. What's this? You're a pretty tough Pokemon trainer for a kid. But watch yourself. I'm not the only member of Team Flare. We're gonna make, take everyone else down so we can do what we want. Wanna bet? Oh, we're not electric type, huh? Hey, you weren't supposed to beat me. We're Team Flare. We put the fashion into fear. We're looking for fossils, but discovered a kid. Zephyr. So, there are two members of Team Flare this time. Are you ready to battle alongside me, neighbor? I just fought with the other one, one of these Team Flare guys. If you're just trying to make yourselves happy, I won't stop you. But when you threaten people, well, it's like who, who do you think you are anyway? What do they got? A scraggly and a Krogunk. Okay. I should probably take out the poison type.
I was hoping you'd go for the other guy, but okay. Now, what do I have for my other party members? Let's bring out you. My craw dog. Team Flare. Oh, I lost? I guess I'll stop cheering now. You made me so sad. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh man. My favorite fashionable Team Flare suit is filthy. If we can restore fossils, we can make some good money. Going through. Is he here? Wait, hello. Oh. Here to look for fossils, are we? Was Team Flare here? Team Flare? What's that? A Pokemon? Never mind. Guess he was so absorbed with looking for fossils, he didn't notice. You two are very lucky. I just found two fossils. But they're both only he ones I already have. So I'll give one to each of you. Do you want the jaw fossil or the seal fossil? I want the seal one. The Pokemon from it may not be a uh, water type, but it's a rock ice type Pokemon. You'll see what both of these Pokemon are in the next gym battle we're going to Is this the fossil you want? Yes. I'll take this one then. I'll restore your fossils and turn them back into Pokemon at the fossil lab. Hope to see you there. Sadly, we won't be going there because, uh, it's going to be a water type only team. So, we went looking for the assistant and we found that suspicious group called Team Flare as well. Still, with those Team Flare people running around, it would be better to train more so I can travel safely. safely. I guess the best thing to do who to get tougher is challenge the college city gym. Agreed. I will see you guys back at the Pokemon Center. Alright, now that I've got my team all healed up, Time to head to the next town that has our next gym badge. This one I think we pretty much got in the bag since this next gym leader is a rock type gym leader. That's the dowsing machine for you. With this, you can find items. I can't see he with no trouble at all. Here, 
I have one for you. Use it to find treasure. You stopped us for that? You said dowsing machine is easy. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. I'm not gonna be using it anyway. Bye. There we are. I think there was a clothing, clothing shot. Yeah, that's not it. There it is. But I doubt it has anything I'd be... Well, actually, one. Another step to my full outfit for this thing. Now... On some more serious matter. Let's find that gym and take it on. Oh dear, if you're here for the bicycle race, I'm afraid you're too late. The race is over and I took first place. I feel bad that you missed it. Here, allow me to give you this HM for con consolation. If one of your Pokemon uses the move, it will be able to push large boulders around. All right, he gave us strength. Nice. I know which Pokemon I'm teaching that to. However, if you want to use the move outside of battle, you'll need to find the gym badge. The from the city I run, from the gym I run in this city. On that note, I'll be waiting for you in the gym. Come challenge me at your leisure. Oh, I plan to. First, I need to teach that move to uh, one of my Pokemon that can learn it. Okay. It appears all of my uh, Pokemon, except for Peekaboo there, can learn uh, strength. So, who do I want to teach it to? I'd say... Crynaut. Crawdon. I will get rid of... Protect. Here we go. I think this is our second gym. How many badges do I have right now? Yeah, this is our second gym. I had to refresh myself since it's been a while since I've been working on this game. I've been too busy with Chrono Trigger and all that. <sighs> that went well. My Psyduck was able to level up. Unfortunately, that kid's relic hand was able to take him down. And we're doing this rock climb thing because this gym leader has a hobby of rock climbing. That's another uh, Pokemon trainer. I'd rather save my attacks for the uh, gym leader himself.
Oh, don't do that. I hate trainers who turn. Thankfully, I didn't get caught for this one. We have a whole team of water type Pokemon. He's got two and they're both the fossil Pokemon that uh, you can get in this game. I've been waiting for an eager anticipation. I've been waiting in eager, eager anticipation. What have I been waiting for? For a worthy challenger to appear? It's quite an achievement to have climbed all the way up here. Very impressive, actually. I have been waiting. I have been. I had a feeling that our battle will turn out to be worth the wait. I hope you'll show me that your skills as a Pokemon and trainer surpass even mine. Gym battle number two against Grant. This is the Pokemon from the fossil I took. This Pokemon is rock and ice type. The one move I need to worry about, well, two actually with this Pokemon for my team being water. That's one of them because it can paralyze me. And the other one is Aurora Beam, which is an ice type move. Okay, that takes care of the first Pokemon. Now to worry about the other one. Tyrant. I want to bring Squirt out here. That's the name of my war turtle. Dang, and a critical hit too, holy cow. Let's see. Oh, you smart bastard. I hate when you do that. I hate when gym leaders do that. Not this time. Second badge in the bag. You have proven to be a wall that I am unable to surmount. There are some things that seem out of reach, no matter how hard you try. However, it is important that you never give up, no matter the opponent or the odds. I could tell from our battle that you and your Pokemon understand that. To commemorate such an impressive show of teamwork, please accept this cliff badge. With 
the cliff that you can with you in your grasp. You should have no issues working together with Pokemon up to level 40. This even applies to Pokemon you receive from other Pokemon in trade. People in trade. And that's not all. You also get this. Rock Tomb. It's Rock Tomb. With this move, a Pokemon can hurl rocks as it, at its target, not only inflicting damage, but also lowering the target's speed and preventing it from moving. Now that you've become a master of wall climber and conquered this gym, it's time you fought thought about how to apply your skills in other areas. Think about how you can improve yourself as well as the Pokemon that are always by your side. When you find the answer, that's when you'll truly be able to smile. And now to go down and heal. Actually, no, why am I going this way? I can take a shortcut. And I think that's a good note to end this episode on. I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon now and then probably level up a bit. When I come back, we will be doing more on Let's Replay Pokemon Y. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you want. Ring the bell to be notified when our next video comes out. We do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally Saturday and Sundays. Till the next video, this is Sword Archeld signing off. Have a good night, folks.